Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels. Today, we're gonna talk about all the things you could ever wanna know about Des Moines, Iowa. So before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, click that subscribe button, and watch our other content for even more mind-blowing information you'll probably disagree about, even though it's supported by statistics. In the meantime, let's go. Des Moines is the capital city of Iowa and is located in the central, south central part of the state. There's almost 700,000 corn loving people in the metro area who call it home, making it the 83rd largest city in the continental United States of America. Des Moines is part of the county seat of Polk County and was incorporated in 1851 as Fort Des Moines and was shortened to just Des Moines in 1857. It's located on and named after the Des Moines River, which is French for River of the Monks. While the city is active with a lot of features, it is surrounded by rural towns and it doesn't take much to get away from all the hustle and bustle. If you're in Des Moines long enough, you'll hear different people calling it different names. It's no by locals as Hartford of the West, Corn Town, D Town, the Big D, Corn Paradise, and the Corn Hawk Whittle Biddle, all depending on who you're talking to at the time. Des Moines has a lot of interesting history. It's known that people have occupied the area for at least the past 7,000 years. In 2011, archeologists uncovered a site which housed more than 6,000 artifacts dating back to that time period. It was also not the original capital city. It became the capital city in 1855 when Iowa City lost the title because of Des Moines' more central location. They're still a little bit bitter about it to this day, but it was a really smart move to do this. The government there is always thinking about ways to screw, I, I mean, help the citizens. Just look at the extensive skywalk system that connects about four miles and 30 city blocks, all to keep you out of the elements and severe weather. How nice, right? Let's talk about living there though. You wanna buy a house in Des Moines? Maybe rent? Well, you'll have some options. According to Redfin, the median sale price there is $180,000 and the average time on the market is about 36 days. The market there is still hot with almost 25% of homes selling above the list price. Great for sellers, not so much for buyers. Rentals are available in the city and range from about 900 and up depending on what size apartment or house you're looking at. Of course, the prices to buy as well as rent vary depending on location as the high crime areas are usually cheaper because of the threat of loss of life. So once you get your housing all set and you're ready to explore the town, you'll be happy to know there are a lot of things to do here for singles, families, divorcees, every single one of you. The biggest draw of the city is the Iowa State Fair, which drew up 1.2 million people in 2022. COVID what? It's literally got the best food probably in the world where you can buy things like the alligator corn dog, apple bacon waffle, OMG chicken, and just about anything you can imagine on a stick. Yes, on a stick. If food is your thing, they also have a bangin' farmer's market. For those of you who enjoy the finer things in life, you'll be tickled to hear about the Des Moines Art Center, Papa John Sculpture Park, the Capitol Building, the Botanical Garden, the State Historical Museum, the Science Center of Iowa, the Salisbury House, and the Robert D. Ray Asian Gardens. There are also a ton of great restaurants, music venues, breweries, and cafes to hang out in and meet like-minded people. The Wells Fargo Arena is the place for sports, big name, headlining concerts if you want an exciting night out. Also, if you're into outdoor recreation, don't worry, they have plenty of that too, including many agricultural and farming destinations. Be careful when you're out and about. Even though a majority of the people there are good old corn loving folks, there's a lot of criminal activity going on and you just might get shocked. In fact, the crime rates in Des Moines are a poppin' 62% higher than the national average. And you have a one in 27 chance of becoming the victim of a crime. 
The city itself is safer than 6% of the cities in the United States, which doesn't sound very good. Now, it's no Detroit or St. Louis, but still, crime is crime and you need to have to watch your back. Living in Des Moines is gonna take some money no matter what part of the city you end up in. The median income is only $25,000 for an individual. The poverty rate is 19% and almost 5% of the residents are unemployed. Still, not as bad as other major cities, but the poverty level is 26% higher than the national average, and the income is 13% lower than the national average. On top of that, males earn 41% higher than females. That's just freaking wrong. The reason is irrelevant. I'm just spitting facts. Many residents in Des Moines are just barely getting by, and it usually takes at least two adults working in the household to make it. If you have children, you'll definitely be looking into the school system to make sure your little ones won't grow up to be little delinquents. There are over 69 public schools in Des Moines, and the ratings they have received aren't at all that bad. Actually, compared to other cities, they're pretty good. Of course, some are better than others, but 25.2% of the residents in Des Moines have completed a bachelor's degree. 81.4% of the residents have completed high school. Not that bad. Of course, if homeschooling is an option, I would encourage that for the obvious reasons. If you are, however, forced to send your kids to school, you can at least rest easy, knowing they'll probably learn something. Just make sure they don't learn too much of other things that have no need to be in a classroom. With all that being said, what conclusion can we come up with about Des Moines, Iowa? Well, whoever said corn was the only thing that is in Iowa has obviously never been to Des Moines. Sure, it's a big part of the culture there and you'll see a lot of it, eat a lot of it, smell a lot of it, and probably think about it a lot. There is so much more. Everything from entertainment, outdoor activities, music, art, and some of the best fried food you'll ever find on the face of this planet are right at home in Des Moines. Sure, there's severe weather with tornadoes and extreme weather conditions, but they have cool things like fried pickles at the fair, so it's kind of a trade-off. If you're forced to or choose to live there, just be mindful of your surroundings and keep an open mind. You'll do just fine. All right, everyone. Now you know what's up in Des Moines, Iowa. Is it everything you thought it was going to be? Make sure to comment below if you live there or if you've ever visited and got out to talk about it. Where am I going next? Make sure you hit that subscribe button to find out. Until next time, bye y'all.